this is what we call malo bread, an Eastern European Jewish dessert that survived with the families escaping the horrors of the Holocaust. So there's a man named Ben Lesser. He's the owner of Papa Ben's, a kosher malo bread company here in the U.S. But he's also an outspoken Holocaust survivor who's on a mission to make sure that nobody forgets the Holocaust. Ben's family, back in Europe, owned and operated a chocolate factory in Krakow, Poland. It was home to about 70,000 Jews before Hitler and the Nazis came into power. In 1940, Ben's family escaped the Nazis in Poland and headed to Hungary, where Ben sold pretzels and cookies to local bars to make some money. Sadly, not long after that, when the Nazis took power in Hungary, Ben was separated from his family and was sent to Auschwitz, Dernhau, and then Dachau. Ben and his sister Lola survived the camps, but they tragically lost all their family members to the Nazi killing machine. Ben and his sister made it here to America. They finally ended up in Los Angeles. Ben got married, started a real estate business, and retired in Las Vegas. Like many survivors, Ben rarely spoke about his experiences, but when his fifth grade grandson brought him into class to speak about his experiences, he saw the importance of Holocaust ed education, and so he began speaking all over. Ben's Mandelbrand recipe is from his dad, surviving the dark period of the Holocaust. The profit of his Mandelbrand company goes straight to the Zahar Foundation that supports Holocaust education. It's actually Ben's foundation. L'chaim. Mmm. 